The trachea has four different layers, the mucosa, submucosa, hyaline cartilage, and adventitia. The adventitia is the outermost layer. It's a type of connective tissue, which is anchoring your trachea to surrounding structures. The hyaline cartilage, that's what is keeping your airway open. So you have a series of C-shaped rings which are connected in the back by the trachealis muscle. So C-shaped ring in the front, trachealis muscle in the back. The trachealis is a smooth muscle that when you're exhaling forcefully, like when you're coughing, it constricts to bring the two ends of your cartilage closer together to create a smaller airway, which helps force the air out. So zooming in on the mucosa and submucosa, the submucosa is a loose connective tissue and in this loose connective tissue, you have a bunch of seromucous glands. So you might remember that glands are made of cuboidal tissue. So any little Cheerios made of cuboidal tissue in the submucosa are the seromucous glands. So those glands are producing a kind of watery mucus. The advantage to producing a watery mucus is that the watery part of it is helping to humidify your airway. The mucusy part of it is helping you trap whatever particles or debris or garbage you're breathing in, you know, dust, pollen, bacteria, whatever. And then you have your mucosa, which is actually two layers. There's the epithelial layer, and then underneath it, this is all lamina propria. So the epithelial layer is specifically ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium, and that contains goblet cells, which are also producing mucus. Although um, a lot of times it's hard to see the goblet cells. If you remember, they're it's kind of like they have little cups on their head. And oftentimes what happens is the other cells kind of fall in around them. So you can't necessarily see the goblet cells, but they're there. Uh, and the cilia, those are those little hair-like extensions that are on the top of the ciliated pseudostratified. And all day long, they're beating that mucus that you're producing away from your lungs. So it's beating it away from your lungs. Um, and then eventually you're just going to end up swallowing it. It goes down your esophagus. And then the lamina propria underneath the epithelium is also a connective tissue that's really rich in elastic fibers. Uh, the reason it's rich in elastic fibers is when you breathe in, your airway expands a little bit. When you exhale, those elastic fibers recoil um, and are sort of a little bit assisting you with exhalation by making your airway smaller.